Hello, welcome to Earth Engine Tutorial 114. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a near real time global land cover at a 10 meter resolution with just a few lines of code using a dynamic uh, world. So, this is the new uh, data product that was released yesterday by uh, Google, uh, Google Earth Engine. And originally, this uh, data was announced in, I think, 2020, uh, about uh, two years ago in the Google. Um, um, Geo Summit, and so they were trying to publish this paper, and so finally uh, the paper was published yesterday in scientific data, and so all the data, training data, everything uh, also released along with the paper. So, and I um, incorporate the data, so now you can use it with GMAP, uh, just with a couple of lines of code, so you can generate a global land cover for any location around the globe. Keep that in mind. Uh, because uh, these are all based on the 10 meter resolution uh, Sentinel-2 imagery and so every imagery that uh, ingested into the Google Search Engine catalog uh, a Sentinel-2 imagery have been classified using the algorithm so basically they have already done the classification all you need is just to retrieve the data and also to create a composite for any location and uh, so the reason that they call near real time because uh, Every new imagery ingested, they classify. So, and you can always get the latest classification. Um, you can um, create one for your reason of interest. And this is what we're going to show you here uh, in this video. Okay, so first go to gmap.org and then notebooks, uh, control N, go to number 114. And so this is just a new feature that I just uh, added uh, um, a couple of hours ago. And so you need to make sure that you install the latest uh, GMAP version, otherwise you won't be able to do that. So here are a couple of links that you can uh, try it out. Um, the first one is uh, dynamicworld.app. So this is where they host all the uh, app and you can try it out. Uh, it's a lot of information. And so 10 meter resolution, global scale, uh, based on deep learning and near real time. So you can also download the data. And so if you want, you can go through some of the links in here. So this tutorial, all the uh, new features that are added to the GMAP is based on this uh, uh, JavaScript tutorial. And as you can scroll, uh, this is by uh, Spatial uh, Sorts. So if you can scroll down, it's quite uh, um, very uh, detailed instruction, but there are lots of lines of code that you need to go through. And so I try to simplify, and now in GMAP, you just need one line of code. You can get the imagery for any location by simply uh, specifying some uh, parameters. So uh, let's get started. And first, you can um, download the notebook to your computer. So I'm just going to download, and then you can uh, open your terminal. This so in here. Would open my terminal, and then uh, I can open Jupyter uh, Jupyter Lab. So Geo Lab. Uh, these are just the shortcut. So you need to type Conda activate uh, Geo, and then uh, Jupyter Lab. And so let me double click. Uh, this one shows you kind of uh, the image. Uh, I don't really need it, but uh, let me delete this one first. So first, uh, again, make sure you update to the latest version and then just import the library. Uh, after that, create an interactive map. So this is what uh, we created by using the base map. But um, the next step is to create a region of interest. So you can simply zoom in to any location around the globe. Uh, if you don't set, it's going to just simply use the uh, default ROI. So this one here is around um, uh, in the city of uh, uh, Wisconsin, Madison. So if you can, for example, I can zoom in to any location you like, or I can simply draw a rectangle. So if, if I draw a rectangle, and uh, then it's going to uh, simply use the rectangle. So for example, if I uh, execute again, now it use this rectangle. The next step is to set the date, um, the starting date and the end date, because there were so many. Um, right now for the Sentinel-2 imagery, you have that uh, Sentinel-2A uh, and 2B, so you have uh, global coverage. Um, uh, no, you have a uh, revisit frequency every two to five days. And so we can basically set, for example, I want the entire year, and then get composite, and it's going to pick uh, automatically uh, calculate the majority, basically the top probability of the pixel. Uh, the length cover type of that pixel. So once you set, for example, the date, and then with that we can first uh, that we can create a Sentinel two uh, image composite. So you just need to use the function called 
uh, dynamic uh, world H2 and then you specify uh, your reason of interest the starting date and the end date and uh, let me execute this one first after that we specify the visualization parameters right what, what kind of band you want to visualize and after that just add the image return take a look uh, this is what it looks like uh, we can maybe just clear uh, the uh, ROI so that you can see clearly you can zoom in uh, to see more details uh, again this is this is not exactly the one used to create uh, the dynamic world and land cover product I'm just showing you some background images so that you can see it should be pretty close but it's not exactly the same because uh, uh, the dynamic world product that is not a composite is based on every individual imagery so every individual Sentinel 2 imagery you get one land cover map and so what we are doing here is to get like the entire year and then to get the base imagery also to get the base land cover product so uh, you get the idea once you have this uh, the next step is to generate uh, the land cover so this is pretty much similar, similar dynamic, uh, dynamic world and then uh, reason starting date and end date so for the return type uh, lay a couple of those so let me uh, let me execute this one first okay so we generate the land cover products and then we add this one to the map uh, very simple right just like uh, generating the sentinel 2 imagery and we return the so-called hue shade uh, the reason for this if you zoom in right uh, hue, uh, this it looks like uh, it's not like a traditional two dynamic uh, imagery that we done the hue shade uh, it's just like flat but now uh, you can see for example uh, high and low right and the reason for this is because every pixel is a probability of clarification so the higher um, that means the higher probability especially in the lower you see those like a values because um, it's relatively low probability because in mixed pixels you have a low accuracy uh, classification accuracy and if there's just pure pixels you get higher uh, accuracy just like in water here you can most of those are pretty like elevated terrain that means there's high probability high accuracy and along the ages most likely you see all along the ages it's like lower uh, elevation that means it's um, low accurate uh, low probability so and this is pretty nice right it, this is just like one or two lines ago you can get the length uh, length cover pretty easily and if you want you can just simply uh, do another rectangle and then you can do it one more time so for example I can uh, let's say I, I'm interested in this one again simply draw here and just execute the call again um, pretty much should be the same um same step right you get a new one very easy so let me draw remove this one so once you have this uh, uh data product you can you can overlay on the uh, sentinel 2 images so for example let me go to the layers control and then here you can turn the layer on and over so you can see behind the scene uh what's the sentinel 2 uh, imagery a kind of similar like how it uh, align with each other right and you can turn the layer on and off you can also overlay with the original, uh, not original, the uh, Google Earth imagery, but they might not be at the same time. But you get it's pretty close. But keep that in mind. This is at the global uh, scale. So it's a uh, uh, very high resolution data product. It's not going to be perfect. So uh, no land cover data products are perfect. So it, 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 it might not work very well in your region of interest. So you just need to keep it in mind. But uh, this is automated and, and pretty nice, right? Very low uh, efforts. And then you can create this kind of um, pretty nice land cover maps for any location uh, around the globe. And just uh, to here, just to change some of the return type. So if you put your cursor within here and then press tab, uh, it's going to show you the documentation. So the return type to here shows you a couple of um, um, uh, different options: um, visualize, class, and probability. So for example, for the visualize is the one without the hue shade. So if you want, you can check out this one here. And maybe I can create another line here. Uh, maybe just uh, this one here. Um, let me put V I S U L L I J U right. Visualize. So let me show you here one more time. Take a look. So this one here, right? This one right now is without a hue shade, just the original imagery. And you can see here, uh, it's also still pretty nice, but it's not as good visually as the hue shade uh, version right so this is how you can uh, use this one you can also do the probability right so earlier when i showed you the hue shade uh, you can also return the probability or you can just return uh, the class 
because this imagery is already visualized right now it's basically a color imagery but if you want the original one if you need to download the data uh, to your computer you need to do some calculation then you might want the uh, the class the class means just the original so just means one to eight a uh, zero to eight so like eight uh, uh, nine classes so if you see the laser here um oh, i forgot to mention so the add legend right there's a i also create a built-in legend so now you just need one line of code you can add the dynamic world uh, laser to the map so and then you can for example click your mouse on the map you can click the pixel as you can see here this one right now this is uh uh already converted to uh rgb so it's no longer the class if you really want the class then you can use this one uh let me go back to here uh return type is class and so if this is the case then you might need to set the visualization otherwise it might not work so let me run this one again here right by default it's just uh very dark and if you click on your mouse on the map ooh, uh, i think i add the laser uh, twice let me let me rerun this one again just to and right now i only have one here so again if i click my mouse you should get the value of oh, maximize by link link label mode um zero all the way to six so for example if i click it should be ranging from zero to eight right so because it's corresponding to the link cover here so in that case uh if you want to visualize that you need to set up a visualization uh parameters so for example let me come here uh, vis equal to uh, you need to set for example the uh, mean to be uh, zero and then uh, max should be i think uh, eight and uh, i also need to import the library uh, here uh, import um ge map dot color maps as c map because i want to use the palette i already use the, add the palette to um to the g map so the next one here would be palette and then you can use cm dot uh, palette dot uh, dw i believe okay dynamic world let's see if it works uh, oh i need to set this one here oh uh the pair must be a string so probably i haven't updated yet but uh let's go back to here just to make things easy i can just use this color palette here and just create this list and here it should work now all right take a look now, now this this one right now this is the original imagery so if you click your mouse on the map uh, let me turn off the antenna 2 imagery and then if you click on the map you should see like mode 4 right uh this is water right zero right zero here then red color this is six so one zero one two three four five six right so this is now it corresponds uh, basically this one is the original length cover clarification so if you need to uh analyze that uh you need to download it you want to download this original one so basically the return type equal to class and so this is length cover right this is the variable and after that you can just use a uh, uh, gmap.ee uh, export export image right you can if there's a small area you can use the export image if it's pretty big then you need to export to a google drive because uh, google earth engine does not allow you to um export a large image to your computer and then you just need to type like land cover uh and so you can specify where you want to export and also the scale so for example i can say uh land cover dot tiff and then uh scale uh, because for demonstration i just want to download a very tiny one i hope it works uh and after that you can use that to do a uh, follow analysis so you can see it's land cover is done it's here so then you can open this one using qgs or any other desktop software again for larger area uh you will need to use export to google drive otherwise uh, you will get a uh uh an error saying that it's uh, uh exceed the limit okay so this is how you can easily create a land cover map for any location around the globe just using basically one line of code 
uh, here gmap dot dynamic world and then specify the reason the start and the end date and also what kind of image you want to return you can also return the probability so uh, i'm going to show you the last one uh, if you show perceive tab and then you show you this one here the probability is used create a huge shape so that means each pixel has a probability um so let me in this case i don't need to a visualization take a look so this one should be a gray scale imagery right and if you click your mouse it should be ranging from zero all the way to one if i click here right for example 0 0.52 that means that pixel among all the images right we have nine classes so the probability of that being classified is as water is 52 percent so it's a, a dominant class and for others it might have a relative law but it's still dominant right so 27 percent is still a larger a large probability compared to other land cover type and this is why uh, the reason that we can use that to create a huge shade uh, because uh, as i mentioned earlier water most likely uh, is relatively easy to classify so it's all like a bright color and again let me just switch it back again to uh huge shade right just like in here and this huge shade imagery uh, was created based on the lane cover the class uh, the visualized and also the probability combined together to create this one and that's why it looks uh, so nice and very very easy to use again um, an, an amazing product so highly recommend that you try it out and uh, see if you can find any interesting uh, patterns and also you can compare to other lane covered product uh, lane covered data products um, because right now 10 meter resolution global scale near real time is the state of the art and Okay, so I hope you find it useful. I hope to see you in the uh, next one. Take care. Bye-bye.